Well, Scott, it's uh, bit, ended in a bit of a smash and grab win in the end. It's finished 2-1 over Haven at Waterlooville. Are you relieved in the end for that win? Yeah, relieved, obviously, to get the three points. Um, relieved that the game's over. Didn't enjoy watching it. Just said to the boys as well in there that um, they couldn't have enjoyed playing in it. And um, all of them agreed with me. I think it lacked quality. I thought the game overall was a lot of mistakes, a lot of sloppiness, um, not enough tempo about it. Um, and it looked like 22 players that were tired from maybe Saturday's game um, and it looked like it was going to end a draw but six weeks ago we probably would have lost that game 2-1 um, so in terms of the character and getting the job done of course I'm delighted but um, do I think we deserve to win it? <laughs> probably not I think a draw would have been a fair result um, someone just said to me that we had a few chances where we should have been ahead maybe by a couple of goals but I look at the all round game um, as a whole and I just thought we could have done a lot better tonight and another goal for Johnny Goddard. He seems to be in a bit of a hot streak at the minute. Uh, are you happy with how he's performing lately? Yeah, he's he's hit a purple patch for sure. Um, he's undroppable at the moment. He's got those moments of quality. Um, and I think he's, he's scored more goals this season than our top scorer last season. Um, we're only sort of getting to the end of November. So delighted for Johnny. Um, and then obviously Stephen's come on and get his goal as well. So um, two people scoring tonight from um, one running in behind, one following up a rebound being in the right place at the right time um, two different types of goals really from what we've scored of late so yeah overall delighted with their performances and then just going back then to the equaliser just for half time there seems to be a, a lot of confusion as to what happened because it looked like um, Manash had gone down just on the edge of the box before that ball came across the six yard area it missed a, a fair few sal slough players before falling to Basari uh, what was your take on the goal? I saw Nashi on the floor and he was saying that someone's pulled him. Um, but to be honest, I don't know if it's had an impact in them scoring. I don't think it was his man that scored. Um, it's probably 15, 20 yards away from the incident um, from where he's tapped in at the back post. Realistically, the ball shouldn't get past our front post. It shouldn't go across our six-yard box um, and then he shouldn't have a tap in at the far post. So, mistake, mistake, mistake. Um, but the boys, credit to them, they've reacted from it. Um, we gave him a little bit of rollicking at half time, really disappointed with the 45 minutes. I think there was a little bit, um, there was a bit, there was a few murmurs from the stand where they were probably frustrated and bored, um, people giving the ball away sloppily. Um, and I think in terms of tonight, we said to the boys and we made it quite clear that Haven wasn't going to be an easy football match, regardless of the, where they are in the league. Um, they're a really, really good side in terms of the personnel that they've got. Um, they've got a manager, um, a top manager, who's I'm sure won this league before, if not through the playoffs. Um, so yeah, it was going to be a tough game regardless and I think credit to Haven, uh, they gave it a right go. Uh, they'll be disappointed to not at least get a point, maybe even three with a couple of chances that they've had. Um, but it's nice to come out on the on the right side of things for once because we had some bad beats earlier on in the season where we didn't probably deserve to lose the game. Um, me, Chrissy and Yellow were a bit embarrassed in terms of celebrating the winner and celebrating the, uh, the first goal that we scored because we didn't feel like we deserved it. Um, but at the same time, we'll take it for sure. Um, having looked at the results tonight, it was an important one. And as you said, the winner coming from uh, your new signing, Stephen Baller, who joined just earlier today from QPR. Um, what is, what's with the signing that you've made there? Because it feels like, I mean, on the bench this, after, this evening, you, you named actually kind of five attacking players. I think that's probably down to the fact we have a few injuries. But what do you think he's going to bring to the team? Goals. Um, I went to watch QPR last month and he scored a hat trick. Um, I think there was a queue of clubs list. Um, oh, sorry, there was a list of clubs that were queuing up to try and get him. Um, unfortunately for us, we're the ones, the chosen ones, as such. He's a little live wire. Um, he's got great vision and awareness in his touch, um, and he's obviously justified us putting him on tonight and getting the winner, which is a massive, massive goal for us. I think the bench tonight was as strong as it's been um, in my whole time I've been at the club. When you look around and you think. Um, the players that haven't come on tonight with Dom and Gary, um, it's ridiculous that we've got players um, at our disposal that haven't even stepped foot on the pitch, um, players of their quality. So it's about a team effort, it's a team performance. We've got so many games coming up over the next sort of month or two and we need players that are going to be in the building rather than trying to readjust when we have injuries. Um, hopefully Temi and Bayliss might be back for Saturday as well. Uh, but at the moment, Jammers and, Jammers and Joe have done brilliantly well. Um, Joe's groin, I think, was hanging off with sort of 45 minutes to go um, at half-time. He made us aware of it, but I thought them two were superb again. I think they defended our box really, really well. Um, they cleared their lines, 1v1s at the back. They were they were solid. So it's going to be tough competition for places. Um, my boots are getting dust on at the moment as well with other people playing in my positions that are doing their job. Um, but yeah, I'm just delighted to get the win. It's, it's a huge one for us. Um, and to go 
I think nine games unbeaten at home now with won six and drawn three um, is remarkable from where we were. And then just finally then, maybe one negative perhaps is uh, Matt Lynch seemed to really be struggling through that last 15 minutes. Is that another recurrence of the injury he has been carrying or is it a new I think potential it, injury? I think it was a knock. Um, I think it was knee to knee where he's got a knock. Um, I was quite frustrated with him because I wanted him to get up and keep the tempo going. Um, but Lynch went down. I think he wanted to come off. Um, he asked Chico if he could, but we'd done three subs. So he didn't have a chance to. But Lynch is Lynch. He probably runs the most in the team. We look at the stats vests and how far people run, and he's always top. Um, so it shows what he gives to the cause. Um, so, yeah, typical Matt Lynch performance. here, there, everywhere. But I think he was disappointed with himself tonight, which is the standard that he set um, over the past probably year. Um, of playing really, really well and being consistent. But, yeah, I just found it really frustrating to watch tonight and I wish I had my boots to try and go on there and maybe calm things down a little bit. Um, but overall, to get the three points, that's the most important thing and I can go home tonight and sleep and be happy. And I'm sure everyone else at the club can as well, which is uh, which is great feeling. Definitely happy with the two wins so far. We can make it a hat-trick of home wins on Saturday. We have Braintree Town here at Arbour Park. That's one. That one's probably going to be one that's a little bit trickier. I think they've one this evening to take them into sixth place. Uh, your thoughts leading into that one then? Angelo and Pizzi um, at Braintree are doing an unbelievable job. Um, there's no doubt about it. I think I think he's slightly older than me, um, but he's a brilliant young manager. Um, Pizzi as well is someone that I speak to quite regularly. And the job that they do, I think, goes unnoticed. Um, at a club like Braintree, I don't think they've got massive resources. Um, we know it's going to be a difficult game. Uh, they're well coached, good structure. They've got a front three, um, or if they play a two, that can really hurt you. Um, so we'll have to be completely on it for 90 minutes come Saturday. Uh, but it's a great game to have. Um, we obviously want to go and get another performance um, similar to the one on Saturday rather than tonight. And I think if we can do that, we'll have a chance on Saturday. Perform like we did tonight, we'll come unstuck. Um, but for us at the moment, it's a case of trying to look up the table we don't want to look around and see what's beneath us we want to try and stay positive and I think sometimes especially last season I found it really draining looking at the league table and just staring down and um, thinking what could happen um, and mentally it's, it's exhausting um, so hopefully we can put a run together and start climbing um, and take the pressure off but there's no given right to obviously achieve that we need to go out there and earn it Cheers Scott congratulations Cheers, on winning mate. the season Thanks, Scott. Thank you mate